even as they threw the door open, Jay uh, beat back the impulse to vomit. Kingdom soldiers lay scattered about the room, each lying in his own coagulating a pool of blood. Nowhere did there appear to be anyone attached by murderous hands. The copperly smell of burning flesh filled the air. Embers leapt from the funeral pyre into the growing dusk, joined the twinking points of light that would later become place of crystalline stars. Around the flames, villagers gathered in dark clothes, their faces overwritten with blank, unreadable expressions. Don't Like moths to a candle, they drifted near and mourned and thought and sniffed. They had come to watch the flames feed. Korath's phantomized green eyes nicked at the in the firelight as he turned and gazed at Owen who finched uncomfortably at his side. There can be no uneasier sleep than a warrior murdered in his cups, Korath said, his voice only the slightly louder than the spitting keys of sc scorch bone. They nipped at the heels of the Nighthawks to be certain of that. So you you think we are getting close, Owen asked. Korak began to speak, but his words concluded in his lips, his eyes locked in the burning gates of Senior James. I have to have it with your mysterious health answers, mortal. No, for the sake of your continued good health, I want to hear some explanations fast. Why you were here in Romney and uh, six months before you made your appearance at Incident Pass? Interesting. The only explanation, Signor, is that you are mistaken. I have never been a south of the Incident. While we carried the dead from the Black Sheep Tavern, a tavern boy informed that the man answering to your description called three wholesome dressed in black, all who whom were the trademark silver rings of the Nighthawks. He heard them refer mortal as Gorath. Interesting. It seems that this mortal uh, paid uh, a sizable sum of money to those night talks before departing, uh, enough perhaps to arrange the death of a company of king's soldiers. He may well have paid a king's death, uh, but I know nothing of it. I realize it might, might impress little upon you, but Gorath is a po passing common name in the Northlands, and of, as not your kingdom fellow folk have mistaken me for an elf. The party was likely deceiving, deceived by the enemies of mine. If I ha had cause to mislead you or your prince, I would have found far less convoluted means of confusing what the royal sanity. Look elsewhere for your enemies, James, while we may not be yet friends. I mean you no harm. I shall look where I wish until you are no longer my responsibility. We may not be able to strike at the Nighthawk stronghold, but if we can locate it, we may still be able to get inside and find the information Prince Arthur needs. The Nighthawks will shun Romney for a time, however bold they be in their murderous nights. Uh, they flee when daylight breaks. No one walks without leaving footprints at these men are no different. How well skilled they may be at assassination, they have never been any good of covering their tracks. Let me see those things you found in the tavern. Here they are. Good, those are our footprints of all the items we found in the dead company. Both those items seem conspicuously out of place and may be related in some way to our elusive murderers. We begin our hunt for the Nighthawks with uh, a spider and a spyglass. So we got two items. What are fresh fish? What are fresh?
so everything is much more expensive here because okay we are not going to buy buy anything here but we might sell something here silver spider look at this it's a poisonous spider Minion. I might put, put the volume the down a bit. Yep. So we have a thing we can <laughs> we can use to poison everything. Because why not? Yeah, the saying goes that uh, kiusa is the, uh, uh, well, <laughs> kiusa is a pieni kiusa. Brass, Scott, buy glass. This is pretty useful. Both are pretty useful items. So this bit we could actually save for the later time. We are okay with the food. No spoiling here. Oops, I don't, I don't want. So, because Guild Wars, they, the preparations are insane. So, we might sell weapons here. Apparently, they are buying even Elven weapons, but not. Oh, it's cleaned up. Change motion the figure figure across the room. The boy walked over to join them. He stood before them, eyes uh, downcast. Are you are you going to take me away? Why should uh, we want to, to do that? Because when I broke things. Master always told me that someone would come and take me away someplace bad and someplace dark where they would never fe feed me and I would never see the light of the day. I know when all these people got killed in here that someone would come for me and take me to the bad place. You don't, wa ha don't have anything to be afraid of Jason. You didn't kill those men. It's not your fault. Master says anybody that stays under the roof is the ris uh, respon respon responsibility and I was here when they were killed. That means it was my fault. Then you saw the murders. No, but they come in and told me to leave or they would hurt me later. But they didn't tell me what, to, what they were going to do. What did the men who told you li to leave look like? They were big and they had birds in their chests like eagles. And they felt funny and like sometimes sailors from the cash smell like, like flowers. Hawks in their chest that at least confirms the Nighthawks involvement. Do you know anything about spider made of silver or brass spyglass that one of the men had? Uh, one that the men that were killed not, might have carried. It's very important. Think hard. I don't know anything about spider, but I remember that one of King's men had brass tube uh, with little pieces of glass uh, in the ends of it, and I could see things that were far away with it. He said that uh, he and one of the other men had brought it back from Silden. Did he say that uh, where in Silden he got it? No, just in Silden. Can you think of anything else? Did anyone else come into Black Sheep before the murderers? A carrying man brought some wine from the upside down keg for the soldiers, told me it was spent, sent special. Uh, besides that, I can't think of anything. Interesting. Thanks, Jason. We may have may be back later to ask you um, more questions, so don't go anywhere. Well, let's lighten up the mood.
so he's four, missing four and one. Well, now we are not, at least we are not going to like be out of. Apparently. Okay, I, th I think I made a mistake. Huge amount of gold for the food. Yeah, I was thinking. I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't check the price. They were shown into a, shown into a room. Seated across the leg to, uh, in the large wooden chair, Duke Romney was staring at the la large lumpy from form, which was held heaped in the top of the meeting table. His youngish features obviously clouded by some issue of great concern. What's under the sheet? James asked. You bought her Chandler? The Duke replied grimly. They found him uh, in the alleyway and have uh, dropped him off where the, until the m Undertakers can come for him. Murdered. The Duke said. Unfortunately, it's not uh, no great mystery. He was fighting with the leader of the Mil Miller's cult and got cornered by the three mercenaries. We have them all in custody. Things have gotten so bad here that we are, we have regularly building a bonfire to burn the bodies from this idiot private war between guilds. Anyway, we can uh, be of assistance, James asked. Taking a glance behind, beneath the sheet of an obese corpse. We may be in the area for some while. Drumming his fingers on the table, the duke st stared intentionally at them. Actually, you may be of service to me, he said after a thoughtful uh, moment. If I can convince Arlie Steelstall to come into negotiations with the rest of the guilds, it's possible that I can break the deadlock between them. My father always said that guilds will follow Mitchell Weylander and Arlie Steelsoul, whichever way they go. But unfortunately, Mitchell is too intertwined in the origins of this problem for me to use him effectively. Where do we fi uh, fit into this? James asked. You are natural, he replied, gaining his feet. You were born outside of Romney and you have no connections to the guilds. I am right about that, aren't I? Quickly, an anxious look flickered in his eyes, but quickly vanished as he noticed that James was shaking his head. Excellent. My point being that as the Duke, the guilds might be a private meeting between myself and Arlie as unfair negotiations. They have to believe that he is coming to the negotiation table of his own free will. And believe me, they will be watching my movements for a while. So you want us to find this early still so fellow and convince to come to negotiate with the rest of the guilds. Is that it? James asked. Just so, the Duke replied. You and you will find that he has a small house to the west and south of here. I would advise you though. He's paranoid man. West and south from here. Okay. He keeps himself well guarded and there might be some danger involved. I think I know the place. I reward, re reward you for your efforts, of course. That's all right, James said with a smile heading towards the door. We, we used to danger. Yeah, that's my maiden name. Danger. Nice, but... Uh, we, could, we could sell basically these. Eat the same game. Okay, so if I poison these, they are much, much more valuable. So now we just need a huge pile of arrows and we poison them and then sell away. What is the place we can get arrows for cheap? 
It's a cheap price. Okay, this loop is the place where we, sit we were visiting already. Oh no. Ouch. How about I go to close combat so you can't actually... My characters are, are making a pretty good... This is not pretty good damage so far. Okay, and James got him. I haven't had need to use the spell. So, side track of that sloop. Do we have a tavern here? No. Do you have a arrows for us? No. Ilta, ilta. Mitenkäs siellä päin menee? Oh no. Surprise every, every time. Same place. Super. I wonder if the fetters of rhyme works with the ghosts. That's a frozen ghost, okay. Careful aim. That was pretty close. And you miss, of course. James misses. James is like really badass, but... I, I, thi I, I think he was pretty badass in the books. But with this game, he's, he's not as good as Locklear. Keep out. This guy wants, wants us, us to keep out. There's chest. Nice. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Except we can actually store our stuff here. A man shouted to them, have you brought the chief's reeves dinner, he asked, evidently viewing the, their arrival, arrival as part of the regular schedule. When James wasn't quick to respond, the men seemed to get a bit irritated. Are you or are you not the delivery man for the cook's good store? Yes! James quickly liked seeing it as obvious way to get past the guard. We'll just go in and deliver his dinner to him. Obviously, they didn't explain to you the way things work around here. No one comes past Portridge, he said, thumping his chest. You go over next to the field and put the goods uh, in the box, and uh, then go about your way. Uh, now, do you or don't you have his food? Interesting. Let's say no. We'll come back later. So, this is collection book this, this is like in a during covid so if we want to like okay it's all empty these are poisoned so 
Sorry, but your manservant is, <laughs> is, is a dick. James closed the lead with the chest. So what do we now, uh, do now? Wait, James replied. We come back tomorrow and with any luck, Arlie will be willing to see us. Of course, he must be happy with our leaving in bad food, but at least he it may get us in to see him. And what if he decides to kill us for a little stunt? Gotar replied. James struggled. We will deal with it. <laughs> we have to, have to. Now let's get comfortable somewhere. <laughs> okay. Let's wait a bit today. Let's see what happens. Podrick shouted to him. If you had 12 that stunt with me, I would have your livers for breakfast, he said, referring to their having previous left the tainted rations. The Reeve is a little more forgiving. He says that anyone, anybody that had a man who to try to uh, try that dessert at least a meeting with him. I'll deactivate the trap so as you can get through. Owen Winchester the card removed scroll from his tunic and read the incantation, horribly fumbling most of the words which were written upon it. Uh, once before he had seen the Neophyte spellcaster consumed in flames as he misprosed critical line of the spell, leaving forever after a greasy spot in the streets of Tyburn. Much to his relief, the trap collapsed without the incident. The re met, met them at the door, nearly part except for a few short tufts of hair which cropped behind his ears like unintended beads. The chief re was a surprisingly small fan from the position of power he held among the guilds of Romney. So smiling fiercely at them, he slapped James' shoulder with a heat blistered hand. Arlie is still so here, he said. If nothing else, you have got Kasba. Luckily, I didn't eat the stuff you dropped in the box without having it checked first. Learned a long time ago to be very trusting people on the outside. He invited them to, to his home, offered them some food and water, and spoke of the guild war near Romney. It started when the river pullers checked at their prices so high no one could afford to ship things downriver, he explained. That forced Mitchell Waylander to turn uh, to the co uh, guild of the Romney. Well, let me tell you, Chief Reeve of the Rival Pullers didn't like that at all, felt the new guild was trying to undercut his business. But can you blame him, Mitchell, I mean? James shook his head. The Duke of Romney doesn't seem to have too happy about the matters either, he said. He wants you to come uh, to the negotiation table so they can bring a halt to the violence in Romney. Early no uh, noted. Bloody politics started this mess and it looks like that's what uh, that's what it'll take to bring it uh, to an end. They'll take a chunk of uh, the era mongers guild but be sure of that. We have always lost the negotiations table. Then we can tell the duke uh, you will negotiate, James asked. Walking to a row of shelves he put down a book Nothing else to do that I know of. Though, uh, alerting James first, he tossed the tome. Uh, to your, you might like this after questions about the iron work. What is it? James asked, looking at the plain leather cover. The beginner's text of the art of repairing arms and armor. I was going to throw it out to make room for a few new books at Potridge, uh, that Potridge bought, bought to me. You are welcome to it. Thanking Reeve for his generous offer, James Monson, Gortar, Gorath, uh, it was time they were on their way once again. Uh, we will tell the Duke, he said. He will be excited, I think. I don't suppose it's not, suppose it's not going to end as soon. Also, we had this stuff here. Undoubted by the spy glass cracked lenses, James raised the nautical tool to his eye and looked through it. While visually he could see nothing, it was almost as he saw something beyond the world beyond, before him. By some facility he was uh, able to see objects that were hidden from his view. Okay, so we can actually see that this is like a radar for, for the everything.
interesting. So if we go here, it should see the see the boxes behind the yeah boxes behind the what's that? Ah, that's the house. And, and it it has unlimited uses, so I am no fool. Okay, I suppose they are going to love this. And yeah, there were boxes here. Suppose these are going to contents of these are going to carry from the Chapter, chapter. King of Fools are born without it. Here. I'm remembering many of these. Rations. Torches. Oh, this this was the place we... We, we, we kind of left them. Okay. Good thing, good thing, good thing. And this, this was empty. Suppose these others are uh, that might be uh, trapped. No, there isn't enough room. There's always room for the <laughs> valuables, rupees. Uh, that one chess master is playing only for emeralds. And at the, it's it's pretty pretty normal that you can actually uh, exploit the, some features of the games, you know, these these old old games. They they weren't considered like uh, negative exploits uh, in a, in a way that it, it's a, it's something that needs to be patched or is considered as. Uh, let's say a bug. Yeah, it's spoiled. That's that's not our ration, so so let's go to seal then. Okay, more arrows. So I think we have enough money for the couple couple of armor sets. I wonder what this was. I think we already checked this, but Hello. I think we could start chasing the plot once again. Yeah, there's lots of stuff here. Dragon's breath. Probably not going to buy, yeah, not buying these kind of items.
making money. Change motion to the figure, figure across the room. The man walked over to join them. He stood there before the eyebrows arch inquisitively. As the keeper of the tavern, I imagine you get a, quite a bit of traffic through here. Lots of people wanting to buy or sell items that were, shall we say, indiscriminately acquired. Who would I speak of uh, to, uh, if I my interest lay in that direction? Uh, any that walks the, the streets, Sildan is not known for its reputable patronage, as you know Dub has seen. Why would this interest you? I need to find out about possible purchase of two very special items that might, might have been picked up here in Sildan. I'm looking for whoever might have st sold them. If an item is sold in Sildan, then I am the only man that you should speak to. Any other transactions are done to the Silden Bay. Very well, your fats. I need to find out what you may know about either a brass spy glass or silver spider. I would like. I would be willing to pay in gold. You will pay most undoubtedly for the information, but I am not interested in your kingdom coins. If the it were gold, I could come up with the sum I want myself. No. What I require is the assistance of a thief. Do you think I would be of any help? I live in a city of thieves. I spent my life knowing how to sense them, and I know most assuredly that you have the thief's instincts. This is the bargain. I will tell you about the silver spiders that I sell on occasion, and you will find a bag of powder that was stolen by the crawler. Oh, crawler again. It has most likely been taken as, uh, to his house near here. The house is locked and I suspect that pouch will be hidden away in a chest or cabinet or such. And if thief could do that for you, why would we, we be specially qualified for this? Because of the thieves in this place, they are all, all the hands and eyes of the crawler. To be working for me, that would be death to, for them. Why? Is it, is it that... Uh, that in what is it that is in this border bag? I have made my offer information for the pouch. Do you have? Do we have a deal? Yes. My pump of trouble is telling me that I shouldn't be agreeing to this, but you have a deal. Your thoughts. I'll get your pouch. Uh, strength, strength edge exchange the information for the item. Consider it a deal then, I will wait for you here in the anchor head until you return with the item. I'll be back, do not leave this bay. They were not alone. A book, master of locks for you at your service, how may I be of assistance? He was la like advancing couple hundred meters in the road from the last chapter. It appears that you are master of more than lux. What do you know about Prankstone? Not of Romney. A tongue of wax looks in sealed, and I see my enterprise money being silenced. I am interested only in brass up eyeglass that you sold to a Jofas in Silden. Tell me about it, and I will choose to forget about uh, any other these thefts you have, may have participated in. How di uh, did you come by it? A year or twenty ago, I bought a box in Silden from the trader. He told me that it would be bring me great fortune, but I wished only for a strong chest to hold my things, and I told him that uh, he would be a fool to sell such a box. We haggled, and at last I purchased it for ten sovereigns, a price that uh, the seller seemed positively glad to receive. I too was pleased with the um, exchange, uh, but uh, began to wonder at the nature of that I had purchased. The chest was possessed uh, of Cayundo. Cayundo. What does, does that mean? It was a box of trickery, of magic. Objects would appear in the box, things that I have not placed there. Then one day I met a man from Romney, and he told me the true nature of my chest. Then when things were lost in certain place, they come to my box and we could sell those items. That's really handy box. We decided of course that we would never tell each other, uh, other more than 
more about ourselves so our business would be safe should one of us uh, fall into harm. And you two uh, would split the profits of whatever appeared in the box. I take it that uh, press by glass one of those items he arranged for you to find. It was one of many things. The day you got the spy glass, did anything else appear in your box? A few things. I keep uh, things whose value I do not know. So those items which arrived with the spy glass are still there as uh, well. I re believe there was a note whose contents I do not remember. Where was this box? Is it close by? It lies beneath the mountain uh, with two other boxes near Silden. And it's locked with a special lock. You will have to spell out Thorn that it may be open. Yeah, Thorn. That's that's the special. If you do not understand of what I speak, you shall when you find the box. Thorn, I will. We will remember your kindness. Thank you. Okay, it was here, which hasn't happened many times in this game. But yeah, it's possible. Only few hotspots in, in this game. Yeah, in this game. Korat watched the dogs. Behind him, James stood with his ear pressed against the door of the house, listened to the stirring of the crawler or his men, but heard only the thump of his own heart. The door was locked, and as he reached inside his bag to search for his keys and big locks, he saw a very small, very straight crack in the trim beside the door, smiling at the door old mocker tricks, he pressed his thumb against trim and pushed down. The wood slid away, revealing small brass key. Removing it from its hiding place, he jammed into the brass lock, whispering his thanks to old mocker who had first taught him the trick. With, within the house was dim, but not so dark that James couldn't navigate the by instinct alone. Creeping, he investigated the hold of the three-room house, noting anything that looked out of ordinary. Near the fireplace, he discovered something that appeared to be a chest, but dismissed that suspect, its location tagging as a trap for less clever thieves. On the far wall, he ate the row of four, five colorfully lacquered pots, it spilling over with a tangle of violet colored tondil horns. Many times in Crondor he had heard the princess uh, Anita lamenting over the fact that flowers were nearly impossible to grow in the salty soil of the coastal regions and required ne nearly constant sunlight. Located as they were at the rear of the house, however, they would be undoubtedly reserved very little light at all. Smiling, he upturned each of the pots until at last, he discovered hidden powder bag and made mental note to uh, thank the prize, uh, princess for her relentless efforts to civilize him. Clutching his find, triumphantly, he hurried outside to rejoin his very nervous looking traveling companies. Jimmy Hans, but still alive and well. Let's check we, what, what we got. Powder bag. Yeah, it's similar powder bag than I already have. So if we leave it here, I have more, more of this. So the Hordoboros senior from Grondor returns. Have you brought along the porch I asked for you? Yes. It seems that today Panas has smiled with the both of us. Hey, <laughs> I have the what you want and you apparently know what I need to know. The boats in exchange for the story. That was the deal. I want to hear the story about Silver Spider. Hey, yes. Panat has gifted to you most certainly. I wouldn't have thought anyone really enough to defeat Crawler, but uh, 
If the happy prankster has given you the knack, uh, then I'll happily uh, help you as best I can. Now, the silver spider is a rare item, so I remember when I get one of uh, and, and most assuredly pleased. When I can turn a profit from one, they are hurt hurtly sold here in kingdom. It has been several months since I last sold one. Can you describe the last man who bought one? Oh, I, I can describe him. Stupak car, Karst Hart. Parting fellow, he was wearing a black cloak and a bird, and eagle was placed across his chest. You mean a hawk, golden hawk? I have lived a greater part of my days in this children. It might have been hawk, or it, it could have been a gull. All I know that uh, I'd lost a great deal that day been between him and the trader named Abuk who brought in some sailor's trinkets he appropriated with the prank stone. As for the man with the bird of his chest, the last I heard him was asking to purchase the ticket to a ship called Mokesh Folly. Oh, bound for Corondor. A knight had bound for Corondor. Where could I find the ship's captain? Corondor, I suspect, though I won't see why that would be important to you. Oh no. I will decide what's important or important. But now, what about brass spyglass? Would you know anything about that? As I told you before, sailor trinkets are gun come common here in Silden. It's a special class uh, covet. I would urge you to speak to the, the trader Abuk. Uh, I could only hope, hope only to make five, perhaps ten gold souvenirs from the such an item. So I decided that they were. Not really ma worth my time bothering with them. You may find that bothering with the silver spiders has cost you more than imagined so far. If I find out any of the prince's family have died from poisoning when I returned there, you have a great deal more to worry about than turning profit. Change post. Thought he had uh, thought to get man's attention, he decided that he was far more interested that man was whispering to merchant who was seated nearby. Well, who has had crawler's key then? The man shrugged. Keyword interrupted in a scramble of subors. After they did, they did in the upright man, none of us had decided to stick up about any longer. Mockers were right mad. So it's still a subors, is it? Unless someone of the mocker boys picked it up, I say yes. It's not like it matters, but with the crawler crawled away to the sunset isles. Disturbed name slipped away from the conversation. Though it was possible men were bandying about things overheard from the rumor monitoring, the demise of upright man in Kronder would have been far reaching implications both for the Kron kingdom and for himself. Okay, so they basically have killed the uh, a leader of the thieves. Hehe. <laughs> Perfect crime. Okay, now, now we have eight, eight of those. So, on on watch to Krondor, or return to Krondor. Wait, wait, that's that was actually second game. Return to Krondor. I think we need to return to the corridor because that's a like. Okay, where does, does that leave? Malak's cross. Apparently, we are not being attacked on this road for now, unless we go. To seek our seek seek our the trouble ourselves. Uh. Oh yes, we need it. We have lots of. Okay, let's let's sell the 
poor ones. Now, now the, in the inventory that is, is looking a bit, bit better. Okay, students are, are causing trouble. That was pretty good. Uh, we are almost full. Welcome to the Abbey shop. I'm about graves. How may we help you? Several men were killed in Romney recently, and we companions, my companions and I, are investigating their murder. We are. We are hoping you might be able to give us some information. We are always at the disposal of King's species. How can we help? There were two objects found in the bodies of the dead man. One was rather ordinary in brass scar by glass, and the other was small spider statue made of silver. Would you know anything about either object? Spyglass are common devices, but silver spiders now, those would be quite rare. I've seen the catalog books of magical poison devices, but they were prohibitively expensive for, to a common murderer. Whoever used your spider would have been a man with a great deal of money and would have had connections with Gesh. That's where they are. They are made. Thank you. You have been Trender's most help. Glad of service. Incidentally, would you gentlemen be interested in attending a lecture or this evening of ta on tactics? Interesting church. <laughs> selling, yeah, selling tickets for tactics lectures. It's it's being instructed by Baron Torvel and our special lecture hall and pr promises to be very enlightening. Uh, the tickets are only 20 sorens. Do you wish to go? Yes. I think well, we can make time. Where's the lecture at? In town next to Queen's Row, there's a small hall that we ha uh, that uh, have been reserved for Torres Beach. Open it up. We know we know this place. A mountain etiquette on the fall. Uh, door. Waving smoke from his face, James uh, was surprised by the number of young nobles in this lecture. Okay, this is the same. I guess that the back wall of the small tent has that has been set up. It's permanent uh, surrounded by flickering candles, casting a eerie uh, yellowish glow to the faces of Baron Torville and the two men who attended him. When at last they had set up the hardwood podium, the Baron stood up and looked across the door. I wish I could deliver this speech under happier circumstances, but the to the north, the Dark Brothers are amassing yet another siege against us. The Baron started slowly. I'm here not by the rest request of your abbot, but because I await the arrival of volunteers from Darkmoor and Salador to come to join my forces at the High Castle. We have been receiving word that the modest new Prince Delekan has unfurled the war banners of Murmandamus. A rumble passed through the congregation of nobles, the significance of the old mortar name not lost on the students. Looking at the most of the faces on the room, James knew that most of the room had only been children when Murmandamus had led his troop to Setanon and had likely lost fathers and uncles in that deadly battle. I think therefore this lesson will be a little more practical that for purposes than will concentrate on the defenses of at High Castle. Okay, nice. Torville continued, Page, please fetch my maps. For a few hours, the Baron lectured on defensive techniques and the essential tactics known to be used in Northlands. When the last energy began to flag, he took the few questions before calling the meeting to end and exiting the hall through the rear exit. All right. That, that's that.
now, now we don't need to go to the sewers. But we need to talk with Lim. So we need to go sewers anyway. <laughs> like now you could go to the uh, main 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 door, but yeah. So we had magic. Now we have magic. You'll you'll have to be your business elsewhere, blokes. I'm not uh, to let so much grand gnat past me tonight or any night soon for the moment amount of money the thief's hi highway is closed what 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 not even for attacks something fairly serious must have happened down here if you are all any friend of mockers you'll understand what i mean when i tell you it's a matter of family business meeting the mockers rest the upright man you haven't heard it from my lips i'm not just a night watch and stupid one, uh, one, <laughs> and a stupid one at that. Other standard, who do you think was responsible? Same uh, on as clapped hands on you a few months back. Whoever it was must have had a hand uh, on the inside. The upright man was poisoned. Hmm, suspicious. In the rest, they are calling him. The crawler still don't know what exactly he hopes to gain. We'll never submit to him over... Uh, after he's done to us. Sooner see him dead than a charge of things. Ah, Hanks, Hanks has raided us. Nice. I, uh, yeah. We, I'm, I'm still working on the uh, uh, stream alerts. Basically. Uh, new follow Möhke. Th thanks for following. Okay. I've heard there's a port calls down there that none of the mockers can open. Can't pick it, can't break it, no, is it true? Might that be, might big can fly, who's to say? What's the, uh, why are you interested? Uh, you are no son of the sewers. How did you hear about it anyways? Let's just, uh, just say I'm the friend of the family. I was just wondering if anyone ever found the key for it. It's not, uh, no key I know what, at least not um, on the police, police needs about. You want my opinion? There's nobody that can get the eternity gate open. Impossible. Suspicious. Keys. How many keys do you have on, on your ring? Good thief don't need them. He knows when somebody left a shutter, the spring or a do door of the latch. Got a clean eye. I'm, I'm all the better without having to depend on and as I see it. I'm probably the best thief that uh, the upright man has ever seen. And I know I'm already the quietest. Is that so? How interesting. Well, would you ha know how to get hold of the yellow bill? Perhaps he could sell us few keys. Bill, what are you talking about, old Bill? He got down, done down not more than a month ago by the rogue sent by the crawler. Okay, so crawler is apparently taxing taxing a uh, lot, lot of lot of people, killing, killing, killing many, many thieves. I have a key. I thought you said you could thieves don't need them. I don't need it. I just happen to have one at the moment. Found it near the dead body of someone dressed as a death killer. He was an ugly bloke, but then again, the half of his head, <laughs> with the half of his head smashed in. Spare the details, please. How much do you want for the night hockey? It's yours for nothing. I don't like carrying it about, and I don't want to bring it bad luck of myself. Take it. I don't ever say never leave. Lim never done anything, anything for you. Say you are quite a thief in Grunter, prove it. Why should I? I have some business that might require Kate stealth on our, our part. So he's basically asking him to train him. Train him. For the price, 120 sovereigns. That sounds reasonable to you? Not really. But do we have a chance? No. Common problem, you are coming down too much on your heels, Lim said, watching uh, as his pupil repair, 
reappeared from the darkness. That's actually a real technique. Grabbing Obvious foot, he pivoted so that it rocked from the side to side rather than rear to front. Imagine your feet are like waves. If you have let them roll down on the outside, then roll in the center, now go down and back. And we'll, we'll keep this up till you have it. After a few more tries, Owen began to catch on the mo technique. Astonishing how much of a difference it makes. I could har barely hear myself. That's it then. Lim said with smile taking speed. I've got to get back my guard duty. Uh, we can still chat a bit if you like. Upright man. Are you certain that upright man is dead? So the Nightmaster says. Okay, he used to have amulet that would he kept for good luck. Does anybody know what became of it? Need a bit of extra good luck, eh? Who, but who doesn't? So happens it got started mumbled. The nice master slipped it to me after he, I saved his behind for the pair of crawlers targets. He didn't think it was worth too much. I thought I knew. Different 300 souvenirs and it's yours. How's that strike you? Uh, it's strikes a, a, as a thief, but yeah, well, we'll take it. So I suppose, what's the Nighthawk key? What what it's going to open? I think it's going to open something. Uh, I'm a let of the upright. Okay, now we have two amulets of upright man. Folktale, Rusalka, uh, some kind of water, water monster. So now we are finally going to <laughs> tell the news to the uh, Baron here. The surgeon at arms halted them, putting his hand against James' chest. He shook his hand, head. I'm sorry, but the Duke is abruptly he halted as the Duke appeared behind him. It's all right, the Duke said. Let them in, Sergeant. I'm expecting these fellows. I'm expecting they have come to tell me that they have come to our steel soul to come and help me out. Am I right? James confirmed the fact quickly following the Duke in the deserted meeting hall. Seeing the brand peaches uh, over punches had been removed from the door, he seated himself unceremoniously on the table edge while Korath and Owen stood by the door. Before I forget your reward, the Duke said, opening the chest in the corner in the room, sorting through what looked like a torn table lines and sword riding clothes. Nice. He at last found a pouch and tossed it to James. Inside were several gold coins and a very valuable key. I keep my promises and now let's hope that Ariel early does as does as well. I don't see why he wouldn't, same said, packing away the Duke's kiss. He seemed uh, honorable enough. He's in charge of the guild, the Duke replied, and has to sound honorable. In their own way, the guilds are more powerful than the princedoms. Uh, you mark my words. One day, the end of, th of the kingdom will cr cross words with the guilds, and it's likely to be bloodless affair. I think that's happening here is just a small taste of things to come. Glum words, James replied. Do you think there will be a more trouble here? Not for now. They have had enough anarchy to to do them for a while. And are least coming to negotiations should settle things a bit. After chatting a while longer, James glanced up at the darkening windows. It's getting late and we have to other business to attend to. Thank you, your service is gentlemen. The Duke said, escorting them to the door. If you are ever in the Romney again, please free, feel free to drop by and visit again. 